Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Chelsea. Today I'd like to show you an alternative card done with the April 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit, Sentimental Rose. I'm using a new card size. I'm calling it the Table Tent Handmade Card, and it is four and a quarter by two and three fourths. Watch a video on how to make this card. Check out my channel. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp. And I'm gonna stamp this beautiful rose stamp with Flirty Flamingo. And I'm gonna use the Stamp Off Stamp On technique to get this lighter flower and leaf in the background. Okay, so you ink up your, first step is you ink up your stamp, then you stamp off. We need to fold our paper. And then you stamp on. You get that lighter image. So we're gonna do this three times, stamp off, Stamp on. Stamp off. And then one here at the bottom. Okay. And then while we're still working with the rows, we're going to do on a scrap piece of paper, we're going to do a full ink stamp of the rows. Great. Okay. So we're done with that. So now we're gonna get our green. We're gonna use the mint macaron. And we're gonna do the same thing on our card. Stamp off and stamp on. Stamp off. Stamp on. Stamp off. Squeeze this in. Let's do this. Step on. Perfect. Okay. And then on our scrap paper, we're also going to do one leaf, and that is a full strength ink, so nice and dark. And then this is done. Okay, next we're going to do our sentiment. Um, so on my card, I used a retired stamp set because I wanted to thank you going across and the one from the stamp set is double but I don't really love this one with the card as much so we're going to do we're going to try just inking up the thank you and then stamping and cleaning it and then inking up the you and seeing if we can get that to work so the way you do this is you just try to get ink on the stamp, part of the stamp you want. Okay, so I think I got a little extra. So I'm gonna grab a tissue and I'm just gonna blot off any that got on the top of the U. We can put think here and then clean it. And I love our chamois, it's the perfect cleaner. You just have to use water, cleans it so quick and easy. And so now we're going to just do the U. I think I did a better job of that. So let's add it right here. Thank you. There, that looks pretty good. And I like the different types of text on that. So that's a fun technique. Okay, so now that all of our stamping is done, we're going to fussy cut out this flower and leaf. And I have already done that. 
so we can move on. Don't have to watch me cut that out. And then the very next thing is, so these pieces were extra out of the April Paper Pumpkin Kit once I had made all the cards. And I wanted to change this up a little bit. So you can see in the card that I added some gray granite, sponged it onto those ridges. So all you need for that is a sponge and your ink. I'm just going to dab it and rub it back and forth. Pretty easy. And I love that it gives it a little bit of dimension and a darker background for that stamp to sit on. Okay. So now we're just going to assemble our card. And I love this size of card shape. It's just really easy to design and decorate with. And it's the perfect size to keep with you in your purse. It's not too big or bulky. So the first thing we're going to do is add this extra piece. And it's a little big. So we'll just trim off. with some paper snips. Next, we're going to add our flower with some dimensionals. You can do dimensionals or just adhere it to your flower. I'm going to do a couple dimensionals. Put that right there. Perfect. Turned out so cute. I hope you enjoyed making this card with me today. Visit creativechelsea.com to purchase supplies, and for more information. Have a creative day. Bye.